right, what's up, my people? Here we are, back again on this lovely Sunday. I got a video here pulled up, and it's from MHD, Manosphere Highlights Daily. Chad sues 50 women for defamation after negative comments on Facebook dating group. And this dating group, I'm sure you heard about it. It was kind of all over social media because it's such an interesting thing. It is. It really is, is an interesting phenomenon. These girls are coming together. Are we dating the same guy? That's what the group was called. Are we dating the same guy? They all want the same guy. A lot of these women, most, I think it's actually most relationships nowadays, are created from, from dating apps. And so women's behavior on dating apps is always, it's always up. You always want that small percentage male. And so they're, 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 they're questioning, are we dating the same guy? And this guy found himself in this group. And he wasn't having it. Apparently, they were running his name through or dragging his name through the mud. But let's let's get into this and see what's going on. Well, can a bad date land you a court date after you post about it online? He somehow found those comments that we did make. Um, again, they were factual and they were based in our true experiences. He found those comments and um, decided to uh, come forth with this lawsuit with his claims of defamation. He's trying to he's trying to serve 50 plus women. <laughs> Whole lot of mids there. That's that's one thing I just noticed. Whole lot of mids. So all these mids are, are going up. They're all dating up. They all want the same. Guy. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Mr. Galamo for this video. He kept it short but powerful in the title of the email. Watch men sues 50 women for shaming him on social media on YouTube. Mr. Galamo, thank you for your message. Salute! In a world where online interactions can have real world consequences, men must navigate in the digital dating landscape with caution. In a digital age where social media connects us all, a lawsuit has ignited controversy and legal debate. Assault me. I'm so sure. This is so interesting. Dr. Lucas Murray statement regarding my pending lawsuit. So I guess is this the guy they, they were all dating? Dr. Murray. Here we go. Murray, a man who has taken legal action against more than 50 women in the Are We Dating the Same Guy Facebook group. This video provides a compilation of information to inform you as much as possible about this lawsuit and what you can do to protect yourself as a man. Let's talk about it. The First Amendment protects you from any laws meant to limit your free speech, but it doesn't prevent someone from taking you to court because they don't like what you said about them online. Now a group of women say they're being bullied into silence by a guy who didn't like what they had to say about his online Bullied into silence. Oh my God. So they're, so they're taking the victim stance on this. Is, is that is that what is that what I'm hearing? How are they being bullied here? Wow, this is interesting. So they've got a group of 50 women coming together, and I guess they ended up just like I said earlier, running this guy's name through the mud. So now they're taking the stance of victimhood here. Now we're the victims, not the guy that we actually were probably bullying. I mean, if we're going to use that word, that sounds about right. It's like once once you get a group, a big group of people, and, and in, in this case, I guess 50, 50 women around that number, and then you dedicate a group and you guys are all kind of going in on one guy, I would imagine that's when things get a little interesting. You have a, a group dedicated to this and you're all just, just tarnishing this guy's name. And then they're going to come on here and say, we're being bullied into silence. Is this is this going to digress into a women are, are oppressed and, and and the man is, is trying to silence us? Dating behavior. It's very bizarre. The accusations are baseless. I feel not just for myself, but for my co-defendants and for the other women that he's he's gone after. Olivia Berger and Vanessa Valdez are just two of multiple women being sued for defamation, libel, sex-based discrimination, and other allegations by Stuart Lucas Murray. 
He's basically suing us for $2.6 million in damages. It all started with this post on the Facebook group, Are We Dating the Same Guy? When Olivia and Vanessa saw the post and all the comments, they added their own experiences. He seemed, in my opinion, pretty smug and oh. very arrogant. The entire day. And that's exactly why you liked him. He was putting me down for various things, um, my job included. Vanessa never went on a date with Murray because she says she didn't like the messages he sent her. Let's look into this. Why is there a guy in your pick, genius? I'm assuming by how you think you know me well enough to talk to me like one of your buddies. Read my caption, genius. What's going on here? Why are we seeing these chats back and forth? Did you go on a date with this guy, yes or no? And what is, what do you... Obviously, you seem to know this guy pretty well, so you're, you're trying to tell me just how bad of a guy he is. But but hold on, did you did you go on a date with him? That's that's what I want to know. Clearly, uh, you did, right? Or is the, or are they just talking about conversations that they had? And I guess put it in the Facebook group. It said, "Oh my God, yeah, me too. He's such an a hole." At one point, even calling her a moron. But everything I said was just my experience with him and my opinions on how I think you know. he called her a name you guys he called her a name you no know, he should not be on dating sites starting with section 230 remind us what it is and how that protects social media companies it gives them the protection and not be held liable to not face a lawsuit for things that are posted on the website in okay. its basic shell that's what it is and so with this class action suit yes all he sees is dollar signs if you're an attorney you're like you got Facebook um, and you got millions of people that are on this this group mm -hmm. you potentially got millions of clients I mean in America they say 1.8 million are in this group um, in London almost a hundred thousand and so you got folks all around the world that could be potential clients so I see him seeing dollar size but there are limitations you're not suing these individuals you're going to want to try to go after the big fish and that's meta but if you can't get to them because of section 230 there's really not a big payout in here the only way you can get to meta is by showing that not only did they host this information but they allowed them to do it and they furthered that action and, and I think that would be hard to prove Lewis believes this case will make it to court because a judge at this early stage can't believe one side or the other that's a jury question. So this case will likely go to trial if it doesn't settle. And without representation and not a lot of expendable income to fight a lawsuit, the women worry this could bankrupt them. At the end of the day, these kinds of suits don't just affect me and Vanessa and our co-defendants. And I feel that a lot of times women are still being silenced. Um, if Here we go. Here we go into the oppression rhetoric. Patriarchy. Women are being silenced, we're being bullied, bullied into compliance by the man, straight white male doctor. What an arrogant asshole that we all somehow ended up being attracted to and then coming in this group and say, are we, are we dating the same guy? We must be. Uh, you know, any support would be appreciated. We are hoping for pro bono work um, in our experience and looking for representation. It, it doesn't seem likely, but... Um, any funds can help us get through this. We, we definitely appreciate it. The invite only group, Are We Dating the Same Guy, started with seemingly pure intentions. Hey, I've been dating my boyfriend for two years. He's acting weird. Is anyone dating him? <laughs> On its webpage, the founder says she operates red flag awareness groups around the world with the goal to keep women safe from, quote, dangerous or toxic men. Each page is location based. The one here in Charlotte has 34,000 members some of whom didn't want to talk on camera out of fear they'd get kicked out of the group. They have no idea that they're even being posted on there because the first rule of are we dating the same guy they stole from Fight Club is you can't talk about it. The goal, creators say, is to protect women, not judge men. I honestly think the page should be shut down. It's, it's dangerous for both men and women, the poster and the person being posted. But it's Jackson says the sites aren't functioning as intended. The posts, many anonymous, she says, aren't vetted with significant repercussions. There's people that have had their houses broken into, tires slashed, um, and this goes for the women in the group too. It yeah, I could see how this could turn into like doxing. You know, it's, it is just really weird. Imagine you go into one of these groups and you just see a ton of women talking about you, your picture plastered everywhere, plastered everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is one of those interesting things when it comes to the online world and and the law and and the muddy waters. It it is 
yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I don't know. Personally, if, if I saw I was in one of these Facebook groups and they're all talking about me, yeah, I, it'd be pretty weird, especially since you can pretty much guarantee they're not going to be saying positive things about you. They're probably going to be kind of shitting on you and, and maybe, see, this is the thing, it probably starts turning into accusations and the sisterhood lying to each other and saying, oh my God, he's an emotional abuser, he's a narcissist. I'm sure there is a, a lot of that going on. So I, I could see how that could start to become like defamation. Because like women are, women are defaming men all, all over the place. We, we kind of, let's be real, like we were, they're, they speak in hyperboles a lot of times. They're very, they like to exaggerate. Yeah, he's, he's a narcissist. He's, he's an emotional abuser. Is he really? Is he really? Or did you just not get his way? It's the whole thing with the, the Steven Crowder thing. It's like this guy had a, a very mild, let, let's be real, a very mild conversation with his wife. And it was caught on ring camera. And they're using that to say that this guy is like such this, such an asshole, awful husband. He's, he's emotionally abusing his narcissist, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure there is a ton of that going on in these groups and just saying things that really aren't true. If they post something or they comment and it gets back to the man that's actually posted, which it does, yeah. then the women are in danger as well. When you've reached out to Meta or Facebook, what kind of responses have you gotten, if any? None. None at all. We contacted Murray for comment, but he declined an on-camera interview. Instead, he directed us to this website with a long statement that says in part, this action is not a game, and the accusations against the defendants are serious. I rejected <laughs> each of them and cut them off quite swiftly. Instead of going their separate ways, they went on for months and years to spread misinformation about me and countless others. They're Wow. So yeah, just it, it boils down to this guy rejected them. They're so unused. They're not used to being rejected. And they probably didn't like the way he rejected them. Interesting. And they all come together. It's, oh my God, he, he's so mean. He rejected me. No, he rejected me too. Me too. That's fascinating, man. Instead of going their separate ways, they went on for months and years to spread mis misinformation about me. And countless others. Well, we all know how Facebook and Meta feels about misinformation. So hopefully they'll take it seriously. But then again, right, there is these laws that protect them. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Actions were deliberate, and they are now playing the victims, unquote. His full statement will yeah. be up on our website. What, what do you expect? Would you expect anything, anything less? Of course, we've taken the time to review Murray's full statement. And there is an interesting point that the news overlooks. Murray stated, and I quote, I would like to preface that I support a safe space for women to protect themselves against being stalked, harassed, or harmed, and not the other way around. These women exploited the concept of a safe space to gossip, defame, and cyberbully anyone at whim. Not only is this illegal, it is overwhelmingly selfish, and on their part, to put their needs and amusement over the privacy and rights of others, end quote. We agree with this aspect of his statement because there is a clear line that should never be crossed. It's a sentiment we have repeatedly reiterated on this platform. We do not harbor hostility toward women. We do not hate women. Our message is not about promoting hate, but rather about protecting ourselves at all times, which is what this men's space is for. Unfortunately, there are individuals who abuse platforms and turn them into ways to do harm. It's a sad reality that there are bad actors in every community, capable of tainting the experience for everyone involved. It is worth noting that Murray is not the only one taking legal action against members of this Facebook group. Check this out. 
Mark Trent represents a Chicago man who claims Meta, Facebook, are we dating the same guy, and dozens of group members defamed and attacked his client's moral character by publishing false accusations about him on the site. In one instance, a group member shared a news article of another man who was charged with sexually assaulting a woman he met on a dating app. The plaintiff, Nico, apparently isn't the only one experiencing personal and false accusations that hurt more than just the ego. Women are posting pictures of men, uh, basically defaming them, making nasty comments, malicious comments. We've had men call us, say that they've been put on administrative leave, that they lost their job, that they didn't get promoted, that women will call them up and disengage from them from dating because they had one of their friends check them out on the on these groups. One of the defendants is from South Carolina, but Trent believes some of the accounts operate under fake names. He also believes Meta is to blame and anticipates it's only a matter of time until he has a class action lawsuit. Nico's image was always at the top of the page that was being monetized by Facebook through Facebook ads and otherwise. Well, how did that happen? It would only happen if Facebook was involved with the programming behind the group, not the group itself. This is terrible. These, these the allegations that the men are making is saying that it's not just hurting their feelings, but it's, it's hurting their careers, it's hurting their lifestyle, it's hurting their life. And so, yeah, and I don't know if I said it earlier, but just imagine if it was the other way around. You know, this would not, this would be shut down immediately. Let's be fucking for real. That group would be shut down so fast. It, w it wouldn't even be able to get this many members. It would be shut down so quickly. If you had a bunch of men in a group just kind of l like focusing in on specific individuals, specific women. That would be shut down so quick. I don't even I don't even have any doubt about it. It's so there you go again. I'm just not really surprised, especially with that. I mean, this reminds me of that. That police officer. How how do you how do you sleep with six men, cheat on your husband, and then settle a lawsuit for five hundred thousand dollars? In what world? And she claiming she was groomed. I just <laughs> Oh goodness. I could see a problematic situation un unfolding, but if he can't point to a smoking gun that shows that Facebook not just encouraged it, not just allowed it, Contribute. but actually contributed to it, this is getting dismissed. As the legal battle unfolds, it raises important questions about freedom of speech, privacy, and the role of online communities in modern society. Yeah. Only time will tell the outcome of this complex and contentious lawsuit. Here are some strategies for men to protect themselves in the online dating world. Avoid online dating. The men who are suing these women are not your average men. Women only date the top 10% of the men on these dating apps. These women have no money for attorneys as we have shown you in the video. Prevention is better than cure. Vet your matches. If you do decide to date, Research your potential dates before meeting them in person. Look for red flags and trust your instincts. We have many, 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 many videos to help you spot the red flags. Limit personal information. Be cautious about sharing personal details online, including your full name, address, and workplace. Document interactions. Keep records of your conversations and interactions with matches, especially if you encounter any concerning behavior. Seek legal advice. If you believe you've been defamed or targeted unfairly online, consult with a lawyer to understand your rights and options. I think they're here to stay. Michael Pelagalli is an attorney whose firm is now specializing in issues that arise from these types of sites. Wow. He reiterates what's posted may become public, whether you like it or not. Just because this group is private or just because uh, the men who are being posted about may not see it, it does not mean it is you know, a complete shield from liability. Yep, another good video for Manosphere Highlights Daily. Definitely be careful out there with, with dating apps. And yeah, anyways, that's all I got for you today. And if you enjoyed that, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.